Hey love box, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you give me each and every day um, that you're giving yourselves, being open and embracing your uh, gifts, even though I know they might be confusing and frustrating at times. You probably hear my, my little cat Irma right here she's uh just woke up um and I know that can be exhausting at times so just like I said be be gentle with yourself because there's a lot of different changes we're going through you know we had a rough year last year especially probably you probably had a rough year or two that you're going through but you know just just embrace those those different things that's coming towards your life because you never know where they're going to take you so anyways, um, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are uh, comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video or you're just up telling me about your impact against and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and oh I'm sorry and if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by my channel and showing love and support towards me as well and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today uh my video let me switch one i'm urged to do uh, i got so many of y'all wrote written down i said okay i'm gonna do this i don't know i'm gonna do that um uh when we uh, let me see try to be open and spontaneous to different things you yeah you always have to be spontaneous open to the different things that's coming into our life you know there the you know um universe has a crazy way of posting things into our lives or dropping things into our lap and you're like okay what is this you know I'm not used to doing this I'm not used to doing that you know if you've been with me for a while you have seen so many different sides of me and I'm so blessed and humble that y'all are able to see uh, these different sides and just for me doing those different sides there's a lot of people that have su subscribed since they have you know I've opened up those things for myself so that's a blessing as well that's why you know I try to show y'all as well you know I try to walk my walk and talk my talk you know and let y'all know i can't sit up here and tell you be comfortable with being uncomfortable press that envelope you know step out your comfort zone when i'm not doing it myself you know i do these uh videos for twin flames as well as infjs or white witches or um um, twin flames but I've been on Hayoka's a lot lately and I know I need to venture up back off and start doing my white witch and um, twin flame videos as well as some INFJs but it's just like one universe tells me to stay focused on that Hayoka side because we're going through a lot right now um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that you know um, like a, a lot of people came to me and said you know Rosalind you know we don't see too many you know Hayoka videos out there because I didn't really see him when I first started either you know I just started getting dreams and visions of uh, seeing different tribes and dreams and you know I was in my dreams I was able to talk that native language with Native Americans and which was very beautiful they were showing me their way of the land and the techniques that they did to, you know protect their families and their tribes you know even though I didn't know nothing about it while I was woke up you know when I was awake but you know there's things that comes towards you and you have to be able I'm gonna stop it you know you have to be able to be able to push yourself to do something different because not we'll get bored i know me i, I mean i got adhd or ad add and you know i get bored really quick if i start doing repetitive things so it's just like you know all these things that i've been doing you know y'all seen the uh knowledge side of me with all the different experiences i go through as a being an empath as well as a twin flame is you know a hayoka whatever girl if you don't stop you know she just messing with my stuff you know how cats can be they, they start getting into stuff but um then you know my dad had me start singing um 
doing singing videos and i'm like oh my god you want me to do that i don't know how people gonna react because i don't see some people clown folks but i really didn't get that you know that I, t I told people if you don't have anything nice to say just don't say it because a lot of people are really not you know uh there's a lot of people that embrace my situation and they love the fact that i am who i am and they're you know they're they love me for that you know but they love me anyway but it was a blessing just for them to love me for a while without knowing the backstory on why i was doing the things i was doing so when it when i finally started telling people oh you know since you know a lot of people are just tagging kundalini or ascension or spiritual awakening or hayokas or empaths and they saw all those videos and didn't even watch my intro video so that was a blessing for them to be able to get comfortable with me first and then when that was time for them to to open that that pandora's box they opened it like whoa this and this and that you know rosalind what you know and i was just like yeah you know this is the reason why i started doing my videos and you know and like i told y'all but there's a lot of people that just now starting to um subscribe to my channel you know my me starting my channel was um after i found out who my biological father was even though i had you know many signs that showed me who he was you know through dreams through daydreams and you know confirming stuff on his you know music that he would put out that he would share certain visions with me at the same time uh was very like shocking to me and i that was something that i had to really sink in and very surreal to me so it was like i was opening up myself to y'all because i was worried about what people would think of me but it was you know me opening my, myself up to the world about stuff like that i was trying to find the hopes of, you know my mom but you know that was like two years ago so by that time i done switched over from you know trying to find my mom into letting everybody know about these twin flame situations or infjs or white witch or you know so forth and so forth start going to all these different things that i was humbled and blessed to be able to share with everybody and it was just a blessing it was such a blessing because i see so many of y'all comment and there's times i've cried because i'm just like you know i had to get that confirmation from you know universe am i doing a good job am i really helping people the way i hope i am and it's just y'all send that confirmation to me let me know rosin i resonate with this it's good to know that i'm not alone it's good to know that i'm not going crazy y'all don't know there's so many times i'm gonna spend just looking at y'all comments and sometimes it might take me a good minute to you know answer y'all back which i do apologize but you don't realize the the impact just your confirmation of your 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 comments will make me like break down in tears you know even though i mean i'm very blunt you know and i have no filter at times but you know that humbles me a lot and let me know this is something i love to do because you know I, you, you know how it is when you can be at a job you really can't stand it's like oh god you gotta pray you know probably have to have a drink sometimes you know people gotta have something i've seen people in their car when i don't went to certain jobs they were in there smoking a blunt before they went to work i'll be busting out laughing or taking a shot of something before they went in there because they already knew there's something they want to deal with and it was like um I told y'all I was open with y'all let y'all know when I first started yeah I was smoking weed I didn't lie you know I didn't, I didn't sugarcoat nothing because that was you know that was my coping mechanism for going through my father's death going through everything that I went through I tried something different but also to be unaddicted as well be able to you know there's times I'm pissed there's times I am there's times I ask God why me all my situations why do i have to go through these situations why does it you know when i have to push out so much po positivity and i'm doing right why do i get so much you know ish handed back to me even though i see a lot of positive things come back to me but there was a lot of negative situations got thrown at me too but you know everything has to have a balance to it so you know we have to be able to take the good to, with the bad but it never stopped me from doing what i had to do if i had to stop it wasn't because of something negative was coming towards me it was for health reasons you know burnt out reasons because if you're a youtuber and you're doing videos it can burn you out you know i really can people have seen me almost burnt out and i had to take a break for like a whole month just to you know heal myself because i was going through so many things and so many signs i was seeing you know where i felt like i was forcing myself to do these videos even though i love what i did but it was like you know i needed to take time for myself but it was something i felt like i had to do because my videos was outlets for so many people
but I had to be able to humble myself and be able to tell myself, okay, when universe is making you sit down, they're going to make you sit down. I mean, it got so bad where, I mean, I couldn't even talk. I had laryngitis, you know, where I was, ah, ah, ah. I mean, I couldn't even say nothing. So that was when they were saying, Rosalyn, you need to sit down. You need to take care of yourself. You're taking care of all these people and you're making sure they're okay, but who's taking care of you? You know, even though they're sending me love and blessings, I had to take care of myself. So I had to be able to heal myself and be able to come back and be stronger than I ever did. So when you've got these situations that come into your life, different signs is indicating something's different coming in your life. Don't be scared of the unknown because you never know where that blessing and that level is going to take you. It might take you to a, a level that you weren't even, you know, you prayed on one thing and, you know, universe seeing that, oh, okay, they're handling this. I'm going to throw this at them and see how they're going to handle that. You never know where that is going to take you to. So it might take you to a thing that took you 10 times higher than you expected. You prayed for one thing and they done doubled up on you like, okay, they, they, they did what they needed to do. They, you know, they embraced it. They, you know, they were positive about it, even though they might have been in a low level at a lot of times trying to understand how am I going to make one day to another I don't scream and cry I don't pull a hair out you know there's people are stressed out because they, they're trying to still deal with stuff it's fine but when you know that you're dealing with this and you're doing one day at a time you remember Rome wasn't built in a day you're not going to figure everything about yourself about your gift and embrace it your gift everything in one day you have to be able to be gentle with yourself you better be open embrace what they're giving you even though it might be scary and you're trying to get some kind of sense from it be able to do that and knowing there's a reason why you're going through the things you're going through but knowing there's always a reason behind everything you're going through you might have been bullied you probably have disrespectful children you probably got hellish family members you probably stuck in a in an abusive family situation where you got narcissistic parents or narcissistic partners and you're trying to really understand that situation where you feel stagnant and stuck that's only a state of mind there's only a state of mind you could be able to get yourself out of something now, I know that it could be hard at times but if you're willing to get up out of that situation and you know it's time it ran its course you got to go but universe is gonna place these things in your life to let you know hey you know this is going on this is going on and you need to recognize it and you need to go ahead and try something different you don't try it your way now go ahead and try it our way you never know where that is going to take you and you know it's i'm like i'm living proof i might not be exactly where i want to be at but i'm so humble and so blessed to be able to open up and tell y'all the things i do showing y'all different situations to me showing different sides of me so you can be able to love more of me you're like, you know, so when everything come out, you're like, gosh, I know Rosalind from this. I know Rosalind from that. I know her from this. You know, I was open with y'all. I kept it real. You know, I ain't got time to sugarcoat. You know, I've been there, done that. Everybody got a pass. It's like, I'm just more open with mine about it. You know, because I'm, you know, I'm sitting up here being a YouTuber. So if it resonates, this video resonate with you. I hope it really does. It gives you some kind of confirmation or comfort to let you know you're not alone. You're not doing this on your own. You have me as well as the spirit guides universe helping you out. Just to let you know everything is going to be okay. But just take one day at a time. Knowing when things come in your path for you to recognize. Recognize it. Read up on it. Watch videos. That's what I did. I had to learn things left and right. You know, when I'm looking at my numbers and they're showing me a certain number or whatever. Telling me I need to go ahead and do this and this and that. I read up on them. So, you know, um just go ahead and do what you got to do and research and you know they're telling you things for a reason so i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video much love to you i know this is probably going to take four or five hours for these videos to upload because i'm doing them so late but you know hey i gotta say what i gotta say and how long i gotta say it just to get my point across so uh give me a thumbs up like and even share you know share my, my video on social media wherever you see fit while you had to give me a thumbs up you know shoot me a you know a word or two let me know you done subscribed or whatever so i can go ahead and give you a shout out and um my post notification shout out goes to let me see who i'm going to do shout out to um jabrian mitchell drifty clouds uh mimi b you know much love to you kimber wolf gang much love to you as well and i hope everybody has a blessed safe weekend be responsible for everything you do and i'll see you on my next video much love peace and be wild